How you doing? This is Hybrid Still. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. So, I've actually spoken to people who don't really know where the fishing compound is. Now, when I, I've, I've covered this a little bit in previous videos and in 1.7 like release thing. And now today we're actually going to be talking about fishing. Now, last time I spoke about fishing, it was mainly I was just doing comparisons between fishing and digging and which one is lucrative. Let's put it that way. Turns out digging's more lucrative. So, obviously with 1.7, fishing has changed. Fishing is now different. And obviously we've got different types of fish this is just a couple of them but obviously like the cages have been reworked which is quite cool and you can go fishing anywhere in this game and you'll be sort of still catching the same stuff so there's no real i haven't really found much in the way of like the best spot which i don't think there is one now the reason why i found this a little bit funny is because some people don't even know that there is a little area around the corner from the starting area they think that it's just that's just a, a that just doesn't go anywhere then you've got the exchange at the top then you've got ember and then you go off to the rest of the game now if you follow this road past the cave there's a big sign that says fishing now this sign wasn't here before so i completely understand it but i've actually shown screenshots of this to people going what we didn't know it existed well welcome to the stock market well that trades in gold iron gems this is the one now you might get a little bit lost here so if you turn left there's a shop with massive pillars that look like spanners they are spanners and this is where if you're down at ember and you've built like your first little machine and you wanted to buy some tool chests without well without running over to bridgeport here you can buy them now if you go through this lovely door you will find the fishing area the fishing area is basically where you will exchange your fish for fishing rods. These are the fishing rods of Hydraneer. Now, in order for you to buy the first fishing rod, you do have to get the fishing rod from the first store. And that's not too bad. So you bring it, you take your fishing rod wherever you want, you go fishing. Now, be prepared that every time you catch a fish, you do have to come back here to exchange specific fish for the next rod. So I did all my fishing at this place. Okay. Now there are various different ways of fishing. You can take your fishing rod and you can cast it into the ocean. Line yourself up with a bucket. And when that fish goes down, ready? It drops near the bucket. Well, you can drop it into the bucket. And that would help a lot more as well. So yeah, you can sit here with your fishing rod and drop fish into the bucket. Or... You can do fishing a different way. So you can sort of automate fishing. Now, because conveyor belts don't need fixing, this is ideal. So what you can do is you can sit here with a little conveyor belt or big conveyor belt, depending on your preference. And what you can do is you can just do this. And then that basically, that little fish will travel this whole conveyor belt to get to the truck. Now, this means that all the fish get collected into one place. But the downside is you have to unload them all separately. Which does cause a little bit of a problem. Now what you could do is you could line this up so a cart sits under here. So the cart basically, you, if you can jam the cart up onto a table, then you can sell fish directly from the cart from this conveyor belt. And that's all good. Now, let's go back to my main lot of uh, my fishing area. And then I can show you how much fish it's taken me to unlock all the fishing rods. Okay, so I've been here for a little while. Going to be honest, I've probably been fishing for a good fair few hours. I'm just going to say it's taken a long time and I can prove that with the amount of fish I have caught. So I've been testing different times of day using the hourglass and it didn't really seem to be whenever I clicked on a certain day. It was always fishing at a certain points. These are all the fishing rods you will earn over time, apart from the master one, which I have over by the pot, which I showed you at the start. This is the things that you need to earn a new fish rod. So you need to catch this fish. When you caught this fish, put it in this bucket and click this button and a fishing rod comes out. This one is made from when you've got a shrimp. So, that, so yeah, they're all the fishing rods. Now to show you all the fish that I have had to catch just to finish this lot off. Now I haven't sold a single fish in doing this, okay? So this is everything that I have had to catch just to get everything, just to get all these fishing rods. I have no idea how many fish there actually are. 
I don't know. I just categorise them. So I had to end up getting another bucket of herring and another bucket of sardine because these were getting too full. There's so much fish here that I couldn't fit it all into specific buckets. I had to keep filling up. So we've got herring times two, sardine times two, mackerel. It's a shark, sorry. Uh, a shed ton of boots. We've got flying fish, cod, tuna, shrimps, puffer fish, crab, monkfish, and then we got swordfish. All right. And we also got some king size boots. That is everything I've caught from doing this. It is a ridiculous amount of fish. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how much it's actually going to give me in profit for catching all of these fish. Okay, so this is all of the fish that I have caught to get all of these rods. So now we get to find out how much it's all worth. And really, I mean, obviously if you want all the fishing rods, this is how you have to earn them. So if you want them, then it has to be worth it, right? If you're still doing the comparison between fishing and if you're like drilling to see which one's more lucrative, I'm still sitting on the fact that like you know mining is obviously still more lucrative than this. But don't forget this has taken me a couple of hours to actually do um instead of mining. Okay, so here we are. All eight fishing rods, brand spanking new, finished and done. That doesn't mean that it would happen to you. Fishing is completely random. It's done by an RNG, a random number generator. Whatever you catch with any of these rods, it could be complete luck. You could be very, very quick on getting all the fish that you need to upgrade to the top rod. For me, personally, it took a long time. But the profit I've made from it is a solid 12541 Now, for a couple of hours' work, twelve and a half grand is isn't a massive amount which sucks the amount of time that i've spent in fairness yes i've got eight brand new fishing rods and it's all good but it's 12 and a half grand which isn't a lot of money now again i'm not going to go down that route of like comparing fishing to like excavating for dirt and stuff because there's just no point but if you enjoy the fishing side of this game then that's all good i haven't got a problem with that at all for the eight brand new fishing rods Hey, it's collectibles basically for me at the end of this day. It's like at the, it's all good, and I've just got brand new stuff, and I'm and I'm all good. I've just got a lot, a lot of buckets I've now got to get rid of. In all honesty, I mean fishing's not do, too bad now. A good variety, it's a good everything. I think the reason why I got a little bit bored with it before is because there were three varieties: red, blue, and yellow, and there were three sizes: small, medium, and large. And that was basically it. I think actually having like different types, different breeds, and different variations of like for, of sea creature, because there's not just fish anymore. There's other things. I think this makes it a little bit more of an actual thing, and they're actually good as well. At the end of the day, it just makes fishing a bit more intertwined with the whole game, instead of being this tiny little subsection that was on the side. I'm hoping that when it goes into 2.0, fishing becomes a little bit more sort of like hygienery, where we can, I don't know, where we can make a fish plant, maybe. I have forwarded a couple of ideas to Itchy and a couple of other people, maybe something get made, but I don't know. I put them out as ideas just in case they want to expand upon this, because it, in fairness, it could be done. Where instead of sorters for like dirts and minerals, we could have a sorter that sorts out different types of fish or shellfish or, crust, you know, that sort of thing. At the end of the day, I'm hoping that something does come along and maybe we could have an automated plant for fishing and an automated plant for all the other stuff we do. And then hydroneer becomes a little bit more sort of like diverse, a little bit more variety. And that actually adds a little bit more substance to the game. So in fairness, for eight rods, for the amount of time I spent, it was all right. The money, not so much. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest. If you're doing this for the money, you're, you're, you're playing Hydroneer wrong. But if you're doing this for the fact that there are different varieties and you're exploring the game and you're, and you're having fun, that's the main thing. If you're having fun, then you're doing it all right. And I wish you all the best in collecting everything and enjoying the game a bit more. So thank you very much for joining me. This has been Hybrid Steel. If you have liked this video, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I'll be back here with a brand new video, live stream, or whatever else I do on the channel. Until then, I want to say thank you very much for kicking by. 
Peace out. Have fun. Enjoy everything you guys do. I got boom. A fist bump to you.